Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR. In this video, we're going to be analyzing two articles, to where the first one is titled, Can Palantir Stock Help You Retire as a Millionaire? And then the next article we're going to talk about goes over their quarter one earnings projections, so if you are an investor in this company, you're going to want to stay tuned for that. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and with that being said, let's get right into it. If you didn't know, Palantir Technologies is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies. I've been reporting on Palantir Technologies for almost three whole years, and you should know that last year, Palantir's PLTR share price skyrocketed up 167% just like we predicted. However, it then begs the question if right now is a good time to buy Palantir stock, so let's dive right into it. According to the article, it says it should become clear if owning a Palantir stock can help you become a millionaire. And if you didn't know, I am very hesitant about reviewing these types of articles because any article that says this stock can make you a millionaire is most likely bluffing. Instead of your goal to invest into one company which is supposedly going to make you a millionaire, instead it would be wise to invest into strong fundamental companies, mutual funds, index funds, or even ETFs which are going to build your wealth steadily over a long period of time. And if you can afford some risk in your portfolio, then investing into single stocks like Palantir may be a good opportunity, but always make sure to do your own research. Now, what has shocked me about Palantir stock is that they have performed relatively well despite major problems in the macroeconomic economy. In my personal opinion, I think it's great how Palantir Technologies has held their value in regards to very volatile macroeconomic conditions, such as high inflation, rising interest rates, and many corporations slashing their budget spending. Initially, Palantir Technologies slumped to around $6 dollars in December of 2022, except despite that I was still banging the table saying to buy this company, and since then it has skyrocketed to over $22 per share, and many analysts believe it could surge up to $30 or even potentially $35 over the next 12 months. So let's talk about how plausible this actually is. Normally Palantir is in the news for one of three things. The first thing would be their artificial intelligence platforms, which would include their artificial intelligence platform named AIP. The next thing investors normally bring up is their boot camps, which essentially helps them generate leads, and these boot camps are designed to help other businesses form a use case for Palantir's artificial intelligence platform to utilize that platform in their own businesses to make them more effective and efficient. Lastly, people talk about Palantir because it's just a relatively popular stock that is very volatile, so traders and long-term investors can make money off of this company. For me personally, I would discourage trading this company if you don't know what you're doing, and instead investing into this company while the shares are cheap, and then hold this company for the next 5 to 10 years. In my personal opinion, that's going to lead to the largest payoff for you. We also know that revenue from the United States private sector rose around 70% year over year just during the fourth quarter, so these are all very good indications that this company is going to have a long-term growth trajectory that is very positive. With that being said, you should still keep in mind that although artificial intelligence is the talk of the town right now, not not all AI companies are going to win over the long term. This is why you need to pick a finite number of winners to hold in your portfolio to potentially build your wealth over the long term. A few things that drew me to become an investor in Palantir Technologies is that they were growing their revenues extremely fast, they're growing their profits very impressively, and they have a lot of liquidity on their balance sheet, meaning that they have just loads of cash or short-term cash equivalents that they could easily turn into quick money, and this gives them a huge advantage over their peers. This allows Palantir to potentially buy out other companies or even use this money to invest back into their own business. Yet despite all of this good news, there is a problem here, and that would be in regards to their accounting ratios. As an example, their price to sales ratio, also known as a PS multiple, is around 21.3. If you didn't know, we would want this metric much lower, considering that this valuation puts them at one of the most expensive expensive companies in their respected space. As an example, when we compare them against their industry peers, such as Snowflake, ServiceNow, Datadog, and MongoDB, Datadog is the second closest to them, considering that Palantir is trading at a valuation of 21.34, while Datadog is trading at a valuation of 20. And when I say valuation, I'm referring to their PS ratio. So according to their peer group, Palantir is actually not the best investment according to a value basis based off of their price to sales multiple. 
But with that being said, we actually need to discount this because this chart on screen doesn't tell the whole story. You see, some companies can justify their high PS ratio as long as they have their revenues growing rapidly, and that's exactly what Palantir is doing right now. In my personal opinion, I would wait for the company to cool off just slightly before you start to take a small investment in this company. No need to allocate more than a 5% initial portfolio allocation to this particular company because after all, it is a single company and they are very volatile. As we've said multiple times on this channel, time in the market, meaning that the longer you are an investor or invested into a particular stock, is better than timing the market. This means that as long as you are investing into companies for the long term and you've done your research on them and are confident in them, that is going to give you more money over the long term and pay off much, much more than trying to time the market. And that would mean trying to buy into the market at the best possible time, which honestly, you're most likely not going to be able to do. Therefore, according to the article, Palantir stock over the long run could generate massive gains for disciplined investors. And depending on how much you buy, yes, technically, you could become a millionaire. But don't let that fill your head with fantasy, because you would have to buy hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of Palantir stock to become a millionaire. And this also depends on your time horizon. So that's why you should always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. But now let's talk about the real rub of this video, and that would be their upcoming earnings report on May 6th. Based on historical data, we know that Palantir Technologies has actually beat their earnings results and their revenues at least two out of the four times that they have issued their earnings report over the last four times. And even though they have beaten on it two occasions out of four, the other two occasions, they didn't displease investors by missing expectations, but they actually matched expectations, and this is very good news. Therefore, out of the last four earnings results, two of them have actually been earnings beats, and two of them have matched expectations, which is good news for investors. As of right now, for their upcoming revenues, Zach's consensus estimates for their revenues are pegged at around $970 million for quarter one of 2024 and this would indicate a rise in the revenues of 35.6%. Similarly, for their earnings per share, they're anticipated to bring in 57 cents on the positive side, which would suggest a rise of more than 100% from a year ago. So both of these metrics are very good. Therefore, if Palantir even met expectations and not even exceeded expectations, this would be great news for investors. On top of that, we also know that their forecast is relatively strong, considering that for the full year of 2024, their sales are anticipated to grow by 20.6%, while their earnings per share is anticipated to rise by 32% over that same time period. Despite all of this good news, Zach's rank has a hold rating on Palantir Technologies, and honestly, I would agree with them, just because the company's share price is rather high for my liking, and that's why I would wait for this company to drop a little bit in their share price before nibbling more into this company. But I'd love to hear your thoughts about this company and their upcoming earnings report. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next YT video.